What's up guys, my name is Joe, and today I'm going to show you how to create this vintage film reel projector effect in DaVinci Resolve. What you're going to need is a film strip overlay. Just do an image search for film strip on Google. I like this one the best. Next you need some film grain. I got this one from Wex Photo and Video. Lastly, you need a projector sound effect. I found this one on YouTube. I'll link all of this in the description down below. This step is optional, but if you want to make your footage black and white, you can go ahead and do that now. Just go over to Fusion, hit Control Space, search for Brightness and Contrast, add that to your project, and bring the saturation down to zero. Now, go to your timeline, drag your playhead to the beginning of your clip, and zoom all the way in on your timeline. Hit the right arrow key to go ahead one frame, hit B for your blade tool, and click on your playhead to split the clip. Right click on this frame, select Change Clip Speed, tick Freeze Frame, and click Change. Then, move your clip down the timeline to give yourself some room, and stretch out this frame one second. Next, drag your film strip overlay onto your timeline and trim it down to one second. Select both your film strip and your clip, right click, select New Compound Clip, name it whatever you want, and click Create. Copy and paste your clip on a new track directly above your existing clip. An easy way to do this is holding Alt on your keyboard and dragging your clip. Go to the beginning of your clip and keyframe the Y position for the top clip to zero. Keyframe the bottom one to minus whatever the height of your project is. Mine is 1080, so I set mine to minus 1080. Go to the end of your clips and change the top clip's position to 1080 and the bottoms to zero. As you can see, we get a scroll effect. Now, select both of your clips and create another compound clip. Next, go over to Effects Library, Open Effects, and scroll down to Camera Shake. Drag and drop that onto your clip. Go to the Camera Shake settings, change the motion scale to 0.1, scroll down to Zoom to Crop, and change that to 0. Go back over to the effects library, drag and drop directional blur onto your clip. Go to the directional blur settings, change the strength to 0.4 and the angle to 90. Right click on the clip, go to change clip speed and change it to 400%, take a ripple sequence and click change. Now hold alt and drag and drop your clip as much as you want. I'm going to do 3 seconds. This is what we have so far. For the rest of our footage, make it black and white if you want, add the film strip overlay, make a compound clip like we did earlier, and add camera shake. Next, drag and drop your film grain onto the timeline. Go to the inspector panel and change the composite mode to hard light. I suggest messing around with the composite modes and trying them all out, you may accidentally get something cool. Lastly, add the projector sound effect. And here is our final product. Alright guys, that'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and consider subscribing, it really helps the channel. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. My name is Joe, and I'll see you in the next one. Do you have a clip you'd like to submit? Head on over to the link in the description to access our clip submission form for a chance to be featured in a future video.